Hi guys, welcome back to Thomas Pot Totally with something new, something revamped. I don't know how to package this. Um, English, motherfucker, do you speak it? The Pop Tarts Penny Movie Challenge. Something I'm hoping to bring back as a weekly kind of feature on the channel. Um, something that's going to involve me showing another one of my passions, movies, um, but also a bit of bargain hunting on the side. Um, and something that hopefully, ultimately, I can try and get people involved in again. Um, maybe bring in some new viewers to the channel, but also some of you guys who've been here f well, far too long. <laughs> Go sort your lives out. I wish I knew how to quit you. <laughs> but we might be able to do something, a bit of fun with this. Um, it's like a little weekly thing, um, but we'll see how it goes. So essentially what is the Pop-Tarts Penny Movie Challenge? I hear nobody asking. <laughs> I love collecting, um, always love collecting. You know that if you watch this channel, pop vinyl is kind of like the main thing I'm picking up at the moment on a regular basis. But one of my main loves used to be um, just going into like HMV, walking around, seeing what was out on DVD, Blu-ray, see what deals there were, and picking up films. Not just always films that I love, but also films that I think, okay, there's some good reviews to that. I wouldn't mind giving that one a go. And picking them up quite cheap. And what I've found, I think we've all probably found, is that streaming now is massive. Um, but that can be a good thing for me because I found that you can pick up Blu-rays as, to quote David Dickinson, as cheap as chips. And that's kind of where I'm going with this one. So I'm going to be picking up some films. Um, I'm not going to say reviewing them because I'm not articulate. Reviews aren't probably the best way of doing it. I'm just giving you my thoughts on them. Um, potentially doing some giveaways as part of this as well. But trying to do something a little bit different little bit fun um, and hopefully it will take off and people will enjoy this um, we'll find out if I stop waffling and get into it Shut up! so what I'll be looking at doing is uh, car boots Poundlands charity shops eBay seeing what's out there but with a maximum spend of 99p for a film <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar <laughs> Obviously with eBay, I'm going to have to throw in a little bit of postage, so what I've kind of committed myself to there is I'm not going to spend more than £2 including postage, but the film itself must be 99p or below uh, to make it worthwhile and to kind of fit in with the format of the Penny Movie Challenge, otherwise it becomes the Penny and a little bit more Movie Challenge. So I have picked up a few, um, I'm going to do this weekly with the aim of this being like my Saturday mainstay video and the first one I'm going to show you I picked up for 35p is the guest with Dan Stevens. Thanks for the drink. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't want it though. You can have it. So this film was a lot of fun, um, it comes with the tagline, the Bourne identity crossed with the Terminator. I'm not sure on that, um, I like the fact it says Bourne identity rather than the Bourne franchise because this is from 2013 so it's nine years old now. But it's a good fun film, um, it feels like it's trying to grasp the action vibe of the 90s, uh, a lot of music whilst things are going on, um, rather than that over the top action noises. There's enough action scenes in this to definitely keep you interested, I think I mean running time yeah, it says 100 minutes, that's included. It felt like a 90 minute film, it felt like it, it went by really quickly. And story wise, the story was, although not massively original, but I mean nine years ago maybe, it it was a decent story, it flowed well, the characters were good. Um, at no point was I really getting drawn to the fact that this guy is actually an English actor, his American accent was good. And I, I, I think it was a good watch. I think a lot of the stars ratings on here four stars five stars I think maybe slightly generous for me I would say it would be more I'd say maybe a seven out of ten but it's definitely worth a watch as far as features go I mean this is where it's kind of probably let me down as the first one because 
my main thing I want to do is if I like something I want to delve deeper. This has literally got a commentary by the writer and the director and I mean I don't know where you are with commentaries. I have to really love a film to listen to a commentary afterwards because essentially you're watching the film again but you're not watching the film, you're kind of just listening. It's almost audio book territory for me and then on top of that we've got a theatrical trailer which I think realistically it's good to have a theatrical trailer but in how things are nowadays with YouTube, you, you, how many trailers a film gets, it seems a little bit of a waste. And then seven deleted scenes with optional commentary. I watch these without the commentary, I understand why they got deleted, they're not the best. Um, probably would either slow the story down or the way they went in the film was a better option. But I thought this film was worth watching. Um, I have kind of delved in onto eBay again since and looked and seen how can, what kind of price this is going to be going for cheapest I found it is £2.99. Um, I haven't looked at places like Music Magpie and obviously I haven't started the car booting yet, that is going to start soon. But I thought with this kind of idea of what I'm going to do, I kind of want to share it about a little bit anyway. So this one um, I'm going to look at doing as the first of the Penny Movie Challenge giveaway. If you fancy this film, you want to give this one a go. I've watched it once, I enjoyed it. I don't know that I'm going to watch it again. Some of the other ones I have picked up or on the way are films that I've watched before and I'm going to watch again and again. So that is why I've done that. So if you're interested in this one... You could ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? Um, it's going to have to be UK only, I'm afraid. But if you want to do hashtag the guest in your comments and then in next week's video, um, I'll have to close this on the Thursday as the video is going to be on a Saturday. In next week's, I will give this away um, and one of you guys can do it. But what I want to try and do with this format is, um, like I said, I, I've always strived when I do anything, try and get it community based. So we could potentially have some challenges in this where if anyone's interested, wants to drop in a message, we could try and say who can find a certain film, the cheapest, um, as a kind of challenge, and then do like a joint review on the channel on the Saturdays. I don't know, there's there's so much kind of ideas going around in my head and this is kind of the first time I've brought it back so I don't want to overcomplicate things too much. We're going to do the giveaway, hashtag the guest. Um, next week's film is en route, again it's another eBay one and then I'm looking at going car boots again in the next couple of weeks when I have some of my Sundays off um, and around a few charity shops as well. So I'm hoping to pick up some decent things um, but let me know what you think of this format, um, if you've got any ideas of what you think I could do. I don't want to turn it into necessarily a film club or I don't want to turn it into reviews per se. I want to show what's out there, what's available because I think there's some films out there, as you'll see hopefully in the next couple of weeks, there's some real classics out there as cheap as anything um, and I still think that at some point in the future physical media like these, you've only got to look at the VHS coming back now, vinyl is massive. Um, I see no reason why people aren't going to start wanting to get back into getting these as well. Um, so get ahead of the game, start picking some up now for pennies. Um, I'm going to close this one out now because I feel like I'm waffling a little bit. Um, thank you for giving this one a go if you have, if you're normally here for the pop vinyls and you thought, yeah, I'll try this one. And until next week's, um, get involved, let me know if you've seen the guest, um, let me know from this you're thinking about trying, seeing what's about there um, and ultimately hashtag the guest if you fancy winning this one. Okay, until the next one guys, look after yourself and bye for now, bye. I'll be back.